This is DNA Sports Talk. We're live at the Celebration Bowl with the excellent matchup for tomorrow's game, FAMU versus Howard. With me right now, Coach Simmons, how you feeling? No oh, man, feeling uh, excited, a little exhausted, <laughs> but uh, really definitely excited about the opportunity to go out and uh, represent FAMU in the SWAC and the Creek Celebration Bowl. When you walked into the Mercedes-Benz doing walkthrough, what was that feeling? Uh, it was great. You know, obviously I was able to do it last week for our press conference, but to be able to walk in with the team and just to see how excited they are, um, you know, it's an amazing feeling. It, a lot of hard work and, and preparation has been put into this, and just to be able to see the looks on their faces has really made it all worthwhile. Where are you originally from, Coach? From Quincy, Florida, right outside of Tallahassee. Okay. So you, you homegrown then. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Having grown up, in the area and now bringing FAMU to this particular game, what does it mean for you? Uh, it means everything. You know, I'm a product of a Rattler. You know, my mom's the first in our family to get a college education, and she got it from right there uh, on the house of Seven Hills. And then after her, six of her siblings followed her there. Um, my wife is a two-time graduate of FAMU. Uh, our oldest son, Trey, uh, graduated in 21, and now he's in the law school there. Uh, my, the next daughter, Raven, is dual enrolled there and plans to get her undergraduate degree from there. So, I mean, FAMU has, has, has made us really who we are, you know, and so um, I owe everything to the university uh, for just being a pillar in the community, for being uh, a, a, an institution of higher learning that has really transformed the lives of many families, mine included. And so to be able to lead this program and be the head coach, it means the world to me, you know, and so the history, the tradition, the pride that we have is something that I've tried to instill in our players. And I think they've, they've really bought into that. And, and when you see them play on the field, they don't just play for themselves and for the team, they play for FAMU. I've heard it mentioned from a few coaches and players, you have seven Fs. What's a couple of the most important to you? All of them are important, but what a couple of the most important ones to you? Well, again, they're all important, and, and I, I don't think you can overlook either one of them. We tell our team that all the time, but obviously it starts with faith, you know, uh, faith and, and, you know, faith in a, something greater than you. It's something that we really talk about often. It's the first day of the week, the first word that we use. Uh, and then the last one is family, you know, just doing it all together. So there's, there are five other ones that we all talk about that are very important. Um, but, you know, it starts with faith and then it ends obviously with family of doing it together. And then and, and the ones in between just kind of bring it all home. Uh, but that's the, that, again, the beginning and the end. <laughs> Everything in between works, but you got to have faith in this process. And these guys have definitely done that. And you got to do it together as a family. And, and uh, I feel really confident that they've done that as well. How does it feel to be in a celebration bowl as opposed to an FCS playoff? Man, it feels amazing. Um, obviously, this is what we all aspire to. You know, when, when we start the season, the 12 teams in this conference, all 12 enter the season with the, with the goal of making it to the Celebration Bowl. Um, the, the playoffs is, a, is kind of a great consolation prize if you're able to, but that, that means you didn't win your conference. And so, of course, winning the conference championship is, is always a goal. Uh, so, it, you know, we, we played in the playoffs before. We were excited about the opportunity. Uh, but when we got into the, this season, you know, we had a lot of goals, but the last one, was Cricket Celebration Bowl, you know, and so we're finally here. Uh, couldn't be more proud of the guys for, for, for enduring everything and putting up with me every day and <laughs> my marathon speeches and early morning practices, but it's all been worthwhile. And uh, I'm excited to take the field one last time with this great group of guys. You talked about winning a championship. How tough was it to beat a team that you had just saw about four or five weeks ago that you beat pretty handily to now get these players ready to go again? Uh, well, you know, I wouldn't say it was tough. Um, it's because of the makeup of this team. Okay. You know, we, we don't take anyone for granted. Uh, we respect everyone uh, because for us, we say it's about us. You know, it's not about who we play, um, not about their record, not about their division. Uh, it's about FAMU and how we prepare ourselves to perform at the highest level when it's time to. And that's something that our guys are really bought into. So whether it's playing up at, at USF, uh, an FBS opponent, whether it's playing a Division II team, you know, in West Florida, who was a Division II powerhouse, whether it's playing University of Lincoln, you know, who was a Division II startup program who came into the game, into our game winless, hadn't won a game all season, or beating a team twice. You know, for us, it's about our preparation, about how we approach things, and giving ourselves the best chance. So tomorrow, against the MEAC champ, doesn't change. It's the same thought process, it's the same outlook. If we take care of our business, I think we're good enough to beat everyone, and, uh, and our guys believe that as well. This is a business trip. You're here to win it all. But what do you want these players to get out of this entire experience? I just want them to embrace the whole experience and enjoy it all. You know, I, I tip my hat to, to John Grant and, and the sponsors. 
um, the NFLPA, you know, for just their commitment to empowering these young men, Truist Bank, um, you know, the financial literacy pieces, uh, the seminars, the forums, World of Coke, uh, College Football Hall of Fame, you know, all of the events that they've been able to attend, uh, it's a great experience. You know, a lot of these guys have never been in this type of setting, and so they can walk away with some great memories and, and a lot of great, valuable information that they can use, you know, in life. And so, um, yeah, I, I just, that's why bowls are so special. You know, I've been a part of them as a, as a player, been a part of them as coaches, as assistant coach, and now to be part of it as a head coach, you know, brings it full circle. But again, I, I do tip my hat to, to everyone with the Celebration Bowl for making this week a phenomenal experience. And, and hopefully our guys are really soaked it all in. And then once we take care of business tomorrow, they can enjoy that, but then look back on the experience that they had during this week and, uh, and, and maximize it. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you.